Alright, so if you're not sick of my salad videos yet, I hope you're not. I wanted to share another one with you and hopefully do some more warm recipes going into fall. But like I was saying uh, in my last salad post, um, or one of my last salad posts, that I had done a sort of a Chinese chicken salad type of meal and forgot to record it. So I'm back and I'm going to be doing that today. So I will post uh, my video that I did the holiday um, uh, vegan beef um, salad as well if you'd like to see that. But I'm going to start off with Fresh Express Kit in Strawberry Field and it has a strawberry vinaigrette, sun, uh, sweet dried strawberries, and toasted almonds. Now some of these kits aren't 100% vegan, um, so it's important to check and contains almonds. So you have all the ingredients right there. A good way, and a very easy way to figure out the animal byproducts is right here where it says contains, because they'll usually put the allergens and the meat products right there. So, but just to be careful, you can always read through it. So I'm taking the Fresh Express Kit Strawberry Field, and then we're also going to be using the Mandarin Orange Crispy Chicken, and it's meat free. I don't think I've ever cooked with this particular Garde in meal and it is certified vegan which you do have to pay more for a certified vegan item but it's okay um, we're just gonna get started on this little dish alright so we just took the baby spinach that was in the bag and it has already been washed and now we're just going to take the strawberry vinaigrette salad dressing and what it is is soybean oil strawberries rice vinegar uh, water sherry cooking wine potassium um, and it does have calcium in it and a little bit of salt and um, yeah so we're just going to be taking some of that and we're also going to be taking these sun-dried strawberries three sort of sun-dried tomatoes and these yummy delicious fresh almonds so they're toasted uh, they're not raw, so this is not raw vegan, but it's good. It'll, it's definitely good. Actually, I'm going to do the salad dressing last. We're just going to apply the sun-dried strawberries to the dish. The toasted almonds. And there are a lot of weird vegan dishes. I think it's just because a lot of... Vegans have very, um, um, I guess, strong palates can take a lot of different things, have tried a lot of different things. So if you don't, then I don't recommend putting the mandarin sauce on the chicken. If you love, love, love flavor like I do, feel free to take it. If you would like something that's not, um, that's not already prepackaged like this, you could always take a um, tofu and just cut it into cubes and stick that in the dish. That would also be a nice other option. All right, so here is the faux chicken, and it actually looks and breaks apart like chicken. Uh, I haven't had chicken in quite some time, so I cannot even tell you this is identical to chicken, but I think it's really good, and it's worth giving a try if you're trying to lower your cholesterol or your meat intake. Try this dish, um, you know, start doing maybe a meatless Monday. Try some vegan dishes on Monday instead. All right, so I just added the sauce. You want to cook the sauce separately in a bowl of water so it doesn't pop and explode all over the microwave. Don't wrap it in a paper towel. Just stick it in a bottle, bowl of water. But you don't want to drain the packet. Just put the packet in a bowl of water. Stick it on top of the salad, on the chicken, and then add it to your salad. And if you're going to want to get multiple uses out of the lettuce leaves, I would just pat, I would just use the chicken separately. But for tutorial's sake, I like to show you the end result. All right, so now we're just going to add the dressing. A squeeze of lemon just to make it really 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 fresh and it allows the ingredients to stay nice for a little longer I kind of consider it nature's preservative and flavor so 
Now I'm going to be taking a little bit of Trader Joe's sea salt crystals. I hope you have Trader Joe's in your area. If you don't, I'm sure you can get sea salt crystals elsewhere. It's quite a bit of salt. You don't need that much. And then we're going to take Trader Joe's rainbow peppercorns. I think my palate's a little dead though. I've been cooking up things and working in restaurants for years. So if this is too much flavor for you, feel free to leave anything out. So that's pretty much the salad. Excuse my heinous cookware. And just mix it together. I honestly do not have anything that can toss a salad. Multiple apologies. Now I'm going to be taking the Chung's All Natural Spring Rolls as just a nice warm sort of base for the stomach. You absolutely probably don't need this unless you're sharing the salad a few ways. Um, and these are pure vegetable spring rolls. Where are you, Mr. Ingredients? Oh, here they are. Cabbage, soy, mung bean, sea salt oil, and then you have the ingredients for the sweet and sour sauce. And there are no, 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 no um, animal byproducts. And just make sure you get spring rolls, vegetable, check the ingredients if you want them to be vegan because a vegetable egg roll is not uh, vegan. And that is zero trans fat and they'll be ready in two minutes. That's awesome. And then they come with these tiny little travel size packets of sweet and sour sauce that are uh, vegan, there are no animal oil products in them, and then you can heat those up in a water dish and use it as your dip. Alright, and there you have the lovely salad. Uh, the egg rolls, I add a little soy sauce because I accidentally popped my packet after all. So, good to keep a couple necessary items of different continents, sauces, and dishes. And that way you never go hungry. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed.